Welcome everybody, I'm so glad to see you again. Welcome to Church 180 Kids Church Online. And today is a very special day as we look forward to celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ next Sunday on Easter Sunday. Today, the week before that special day is Palm Sunday. And we're gonna be talking about that today, learning a little bit about it, having some fun activities that go along with it. But before we do that, I'd like you to take a couple minutes and have fun dancing, singing, praising, and worshiping the Lord. We have a worship video for you and uh, a little bit of teaching, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. We've got a battle to fight. God is on our side. We've got a world to reach. Your spirit lives in me. We've got a need to feel. We know it's your will. Set them free You can count on me You can count on me I will give all I can I will lend a helping hand I will be all I love it when people make a big entrance. Our big God story today is all about how Jesus made a big entrance and it comes straight from scripture, from the Bible. The big God story that we're talking about today happened around the time of Passover. Passover was this special feast for the Jewish people. It's a time when they celebrated how God brought the people out of Egypt and out of slavery. So as you can imagine, this celebration was massive. 
and all of the Jewish people, including Jesus and the disciples, were heading to Jerusalem to celebrate. And so this is kind of the beginning of the big God story. Jesus comes and before he reaches the city, they stop by Mary's house. Mary is the sister of Lazarus. Lazarus is the man that Jesus raised from the dead. And Jesus stops and when he's there, Mary anoints his feet with oil and and they have this special time. And then Jesus is about to head to Jerusalem and he's making that final journey. And before they head in there, they take a moment and they stop. Imagine this, all those people heading to Jerusalem, all those people there at Passover, there were thousands of people. Many of them would have heard the stories of Jesus. They would have heard that Jesus was a healer. They would have heard what Jesus did for Lazarus. And now they were thinking, maybe Jesus will be there. Imagine that. Imagine a crowd of people filling a stadium almost, like that many people all waiting for Jesus to come. This was a highly anticipated moment. And you could imagine that the people were expecting Jesus to come as a mighty king. They were expecting Jesus to show up maybe on a horse and in a massive parade. Maybe as a king who came with a whole entire army of people. You see, the Jewish people were struggling with a people called the Romans. The Romans were ruling over the Jewish people. And they were making life really difficult And they thought Jesus, the Messiah, was going to come and fix all their problems and defeat the Romans. But Jesus didn't come on a big horse. The Bible says that Jesus instructed the disciples before they got into Jerusalem to go to the town across and, and to go to a special place and pick up a donkey from a family. He says, if you go and get that and bring it back here, they're going to allow it. And so that's exactly what Jesus did. He went and he got the coal and they they decided to go into Jerusalem, to make their procession into Jerusalem, to declare that Jesus is king, not on a horse with a bunch of soldiers, but instead as a man sat on a donkey. And he gets into town on the donkey and the people see him and can you imagine they go crazy they get these palm branches and they lay them on the floor and they lay their cloaks on the floor for Jesus as he enters and they shout these words Hosanna 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 means save us now the people you see they may have meant save us be the king the warrior king be the king that defeats the Romans But Jesus came not just to be the warrior king and to to defend us that way, but he came to be the king who was going to save us from our sin. See, Jesus wanted to rule and reign in the people's hearts. He wanted to be the one true king. Jesus is our one true king. And are you willing to submit your whole life to him? As we respond today, would you close your eyes? What's an area of your life that Jesus needs to be king? What's an area of your life that you need to submit to him? What's an area of your life that maybe you're keeping away from Jesus? Would you take a moment and would you allow God to search your heart for the Holy Spirit to show you the areas that you need to submit to him? Jesus is King. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the one true King. God, we thank you that we can give our lives to you. And I pray today for each of us that you would show us the places where we need to submit to you. Help us to follow you better. In your name we pray. Amen. Hey, would you let me do a blessing for you today? Why didn't you put out your hands in front of you as I speak this blessing over you? May you trust Jesus to be king in your life. May you know that you can call out to him and he will save you. May you know that the king of heaven and earth loves you and cares for you. Well, you know, God really does love and care for you and he wants to save you. And you know, Hosanna, The people were shouting, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna means God saves or the Lord saves. And he does. 
He is our Savior. And if you've never made Him Savior and Lord of your life, now is an opportunity to do that. He wants you to come to Him, and uh, He wants to be Lord of your life. But that's something that you have to decide to do on your own and make a decision to make Jesus the Lord of your life. So why don't we do that now? I'm gonna give you an opportunity to pray with me and, uh, and ask Jesus to be your Lord, your Savior, and, and you can know that He's King of your heart. So let's pray. Dear God, I know I need a Savior. I know I have sinned against you. And I come to you asking you to be my Savior. Forgive me for my sins. I know that Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for my sins. And on the third day, he rose from the dead. He's alive today and I believe in him and I put my trust in him. Thank you for forgiving me, making me new, healing and cleansing me, and giving me your strength and your spirit to live my life for you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Well, amen, you know, if you've prayed that prayer, God is now your Father, Jesus is your Lord and your Savior. Remember to, to follow him and to love him and to get to know him more and more, and he'll never leave you. The Bible says he'll never leave you or forsake you. I'm so excited for you. If you've made that decision to make Jesus your King, Awesome. Hallelujah. You can let us know. Let your parents know. Let us know as well. We'd love to know that uh, the decision that you've made and we also have resources we can give, give to you to help you to grow in your faith and to know Jesus more and more and more. So, you know, I am just, again, so happy to be able to be teaching you and talking to you online. And as we did last week and, and will continue to do, I have an activity that we've provided for you that I want to give you an opportunity to do something fun at home. And uh, I'm going to explain what those activities are in just a moment here. And why don't you just watch a little clip of Bella, Gabby, and Lexi working on their, on their activities. And uh, we'll come back and I can show you, show you their finished product.
music activity that you saw you saw the girls working on there. And down below in the in the description section here, you'll see a link for a PDF printout of the the um, just the branch before the leaves get added and you can print that out. Uh, printing it out on cardstock is always a good idea. If you have heavier stock paper, it helps when everything's glued on, but it doesn't have to be at all. And just a fun activity. You can have fun doing that and tear up the paper. You can use different kinds of paper. If you don't have green paper, you can always make green paper. Take a piece of white paper, color it green, and then use that for your leaves. And it's a fun thing. Also, you saw them working on these fun palm branches. You can wave yourself and say, Hosanna, Hosanna. And uh, these are pretty simple. You just need some green paper, trace your hands, and cut out your hands, and then get a stick from outside. You can go outside and find a fun, uh, nice size stick to use here. And, um, and then just take the hands that you cut out, put some glue on the bottom of one and on the bottom of another, and then stick them together with a stick in between. And then you'll have a fun palm branch, your very own palm branch. Well, we love you, we miss you, and hope you had fun today learning about Palm Sunday. We'll be back next week as we celebrate together the awesome and powerful resurrection of Jesus Christ, how he rose from the dead, the most powerful thing ever. And uh, just really looking forward again to seeing you next time. So thanks for being with us today. See you next time. Bye-bye.